Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2. This is Robert's Rebellion, and we're playing as Lord Paramount Robert the Storm Knight of the Stormlands. And last time we left off, we were kind of beating the Mad King. I don't really remember the details of it, but we do have a positive war score of 47, which means we're on the right track. I suppose I can actually look up what we're... Ah, occupation of the Dragonstone, Dunfort, High, Tower, High Tide. So... We're winning a lot of battles. We're occupying a lot of places. Um, oh, we can actually see that our huge host is actually right here fighting, facing off against some, uh, well, the army of Dorn. Which is what this little notification right here, where we were left off with last time. Holy shit, look, you got the, the Vale army and you've got the Northern army here on the <laughs> Dragonstone. And, God damn it. Go to King's Landing, you bastards. Why are you, why are you here? And the Royalist forces are down in the Stormlands, and they're very small compared to our own. And they got some Reach forces down here in Nightsong, or Blackhaven. What is that place called? Nightsong? Nightsong, yes. And unfortunately, because we didn't end the war soon enough, um, now we're facing off against an opponent that is most likely going to kill Lord Robert here. Um, this, I think, is the second time I've recorded this episode now, and the first time I played it, uh, Oberyn killed us. I, I, Robert didn't stand a chance. Oberyn's just too fast. He's too dangerous. He is called the Red Viper for a reason. And uh, Lord Robert is actually wounded. Yeah. I mean, technically, because of their, their personal combat skills, they're absolutely... They're, 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 they're matched one for one. Um, ooh. Yeah, Elia Martell died of poor health. Hmm. So Robert's wounded. He's much stronger than Oberyn, but Oberyn's a lot faster, and he's and he's a legendary warrior. He's known across the world as the Red Viper. Robert is known as the Usurper. Not not really the best fighter, but still pretty damn good. Get back, my lord. I'll handle this. Lyanna, you will die. <laughs> you will die if we send you. Why can we? Why can we send her? That's so bizarre. That's that's funny. But we're not gonna do that. You turn to face Prince Oberyn, and he breaks his charge and flees. You pursue but lose track of him in the chaos. Wow. The Red Viper flees at the sight of Lord Paramount Robert. And he's brave too. He's That's not supposed to happen. That's right, coward. Run back to Sunspear. Holy shit. Robert, you live to fight another day, you lucky son of a bitch. You lucky son of a bitch. Richard Stannis. Look at Stannis. Yeah, last time I recorded this, uh, Robert died and Stannis inherited his little war. I think we still won. Apologies. Ugh. I think we still won, but I was playing as Stannis, not Robert. I just... Oh, see, just cause in your struggle. Excellent. And a lot of you suggested... I don't know if I... I I'm, oh, yes, we can. A lot of you suggested marrying Cersei to Stannis. Because, uh, did Stannis marry... This motherfucker married. And I think that's the person we arranged him to marry. Oh, fuck. Good job, Joe. Good job, Joe. How about Renly? Renly will make you prideful. Can we arrange a betrothal between him and uh, Cersei? No. No, he can't. Well, I mean, hold on. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Um, arrange betrothal between you and Renly. No. Would prefer a matrilineal marriage. I think because Cersei's is, is his... um. Tyrion the Imp. Is he in the war? No, he's not in the war. Let's arrange a betrothal between Renly and Cersei, since, and we'll make it matrilineal. I know uh, their children will be Lannisters, but I don't know. I think they would have demanded the same thing if she had married Stannis. But I don't really know if we need... Do we need the Lannisters at this point in time? Well, I mean, what the hell is Renly doing? He's not doing shit. Yeah, let's just... Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright. Excellent. The Dornish forces have been defeated. He's agreed to... To the strong wit, Robert. May live in harmony and contentment. I have declined... I have decided... God damn it. I have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal. Excellent. Would you form an alliance? No, he will not. And I can't really uh, uh, make him like me anymore. Can, do I have any gifts? I have only my Warhammer. I will not give my Warhammer. So, um, yeah, we can't really get Tywin to ally with us now. <laughs> Just kind of shit. Because we have no money. We have no monies. I mean, maybe we could uh, borrow some money. 
patron aspect, ask for a loan, they'll give us 200 gold. If we win, do we get any gold from Ares, the Mad King? No. What, how much money do I need to give to Tywin for him to like us? 105. So we would take out 200 gold in a loan to secure the, alli the allegiance of, uh, okay, you know what? Let's not. Let's not do that. Let's see if we can win the war as is, and if things start turning so sour or sideways for us. Ooh, shit. Well, when things start turning sideways for us, then we'll we'll invoke the Lannisters and we'll get them involved. But right now, I want to take King's Landing and I want to end the war. And with this massive host that's of Riverlanders and the Stormlanders, we should be able to assault this in about a month's time. Sir Theoden Wells, is he a commander for us? Your courtier? No, who are our commanders? Oh, we're missing a lot of people here. These guys will make fine, fine bodyguards. Designated regent should probably be somebody. Fuck. Um. Barrison. I don't know. I don't know who these people are. Harbert, your kinsman. All right, we'll pick you. Jester. Uh, no, we will have no jesters. But my ah, here we are. Jenna, very nice, very nice. I'm impressed. Sir Gawain, you'll be replaced with Theoden. Excellent. He desires to marry. Marry as you please, sir. Marry as you please. Okay. Soon we'll be we'll be assaulting the the um disfigured infection. Jesus. Oh, you know what? You probably got that from the Iron Throne. When you play as Mad King Ares, you get all these little like events talking about um <laughs> Cutting yourself and and things on the chair and 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 there is a percent chance that you actually can maim yourself. <laughs> like I don't know how that happens. You you lose a hand because you cut yourself so badly on the iron chair. The iron throne. Um, royalist forces seem to be gathering in the stormlands. I'm not too concerned about it. As long as my allies remain here with us in King's Landing. Excellent. Stormlands. The Veil. Well, the Veil only gave us a thousand men. Doesn't matter. Attempt a glorious assault of King's Landing. Oh, easy. I thought there was going to be kind of a struggle there, but uh, we took the Red Keep. We stormed the Red Keep. Rivermen, Stormlanders, and Riverlanders stormed the capital. We have taken the Red Keep, but King Ares is not here. Apparently he is. Have his family put in the dungeon then. After the successful siege of... I guess that is supposed to say King's Landing. Sir Willem Derry arrived at the command tent with the raving King Ares II in chains. Sir Willem says King Ares was about to destroy the settlement in a massive wildfire explosion before he managed to stop it. Very good. Holy shit. Oh, very cool. So, Sir, Willi Sir Willem Derry actually is a... Um, he's a loyalist. He serves the Mad King. But, apparently, the Mad King gets an option where when you invade King's Landing, he can blow up King's Landing with the Wildfire Cache. But Sir Willem Derry actually stopped him. He's the, he's the master at arms of the Iron Throne. And he, I guess, uh, <laughs> subdued the Mad King and prevented the uh, explosion. Very good. Very good. The Mad King at last. What about Rhaegar? Does Rhaegar get thrown into a, into a dungeon? Yes. Yes. Prince Rhaegar ends up in the dungeons. Aegon, Rhaenys. Yes. We will demand his surrender immediately. And Rhaegar now gets thrown into a dungeon as well. Ah. The War of the Usurper has ended. Lord Paramount Robert of the Stormlands has won. Excellent. It was close. If the Red Viper had just stood his ground, there was a good chance he would have killed us. A very good chance, actually. Ooh, apparently we've got too many... That's odd. It says my vassal limit is fine, actually. It should be within within the, the boundaries, but we, do, we definitely have uh, too much land. Castle of Kingsgate. Let's give the Castle of Kingsgate... Wait a minute. Stannis... Stannis, Stannis, Stannis. 
I say we give Storm's End to Lord Stannis. Because I always felt kind of bad for Stannis that he was that you know that he that he he held Storm's End and was sieged for the entirety of the war and, and was starving and everything, only to be given Dragonstone and then Renly gets Storm's End, so we will give Storm's End to Lord Stannis, and uh, we'll we'll give him a little bit more land too. How about the Castle of Rainwood? Where is Rainwood? Oh, it's down here. There you are, brother. Brother. And then we will grant the Castle of King's Gate to Renly. So he's got some kind of land. And now Robert owns the Lordship of Dragonstone, King's Landing, Dragonstone, High Lordship of Shipbreaker Bay, High Lordship of King's Landing, King Robert. He is, yes, so this is our primary, yes? All right. Now let's give Stannis the High Lordship of Shipbreaker Bay. Do it. Ah, now he loves us. Brilliant. He's a powerful vassal. Powerful man, my brother is. Um, advisors. Stannis, obviously. Seneschal should be probably somebody with really good... Uh, yeah, we'll have to reappoint our council, but first let's dole out our titles. Um, where is Sir Willem Derry? Where is Sir Willem Derry? Jonathan Derry. Sir Willem Derry. Derry. Yes, the man who saved King's Landing. Invite to court. Yes. It's the opinion of Robert. Yes. So, Willem Derry, we, we, we extend a formal invitation to you, sir. We would like to reward you for your bravery in saving King's Landing. Alright, I'll make you the capital focus. King's Landing. Robert has fulfilled the ambition to win the war. The wars, ah, the war has been won and the enemy's armies have been crushed. We might, um, let's leave this, uh, that, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of, I mean, if we start demanding their territory and stuff, everything will break out into civil war again. This will be seen as a tyrannical action. Send him to the dungeons. Hmm. If we demand them all sent to our dungeons, we'll be dealing with a lot of rebellions. And the war will continue. Yep. Hmm. This is a lot of people that we'd have to fight. Jesus. Holy shit, there's a lot of people here. Mmm. Well, I think for the sake of the realm, I think it would be best. So, so how about we do it like this? The minor lords, we will pardon them. We will pardon all of the minor lords and the uh, king's guard as well. However... The Lord Paramounts, as you guys know, I demand my Lord Paramounts be as loyal as possible. So we might have to demand that uh, the Tyrells and the, uh, the Martells be brought in chains before the crown. So we'll leave Sir John Connington, who I know is, is, is Rhaegar's uh, uh, gay lover. So we'll leave him be. Leave him be. No, Mace Tyrell, we will not leave you be. Um, leave you be. Yep. Who is this? Hendrick of Grandview. Leave him be. Um, we'll judge you separately, and we'll d judge you separately. You, we're going to leave you. Leave you. Uh, we will... He is not fit to serve in the King's Guard. I mean, he didn't try to kill us. We will... We will... We will let them remain in the King's Guard. Yep. Sir Barris in the Bold. Is Sir Arthur Dane still alive? I'm not sure. Sir Arthur Dane. I wish I could see my, uh... Let's see. Dane. D-A-Y-N. Sir Arthur, the Sword of the Morning. Get this shit out of the way. Formidable Fighter. Excellent. 120 Formidable Fighter. Brave. And he wields Dawn. Oh, yeah. 
Very nice. Now then. Well, war will no doubt break out with um, House Terrell and House Martell. But you know what? I need them to bend the knee. Send him to the dungeon. Send him to the dungeon. And then Prince Ares the Man. I think it's only fair that we kill them all. I, I want all their heads on pikes. This will be seen as tyrannical. I will judge his family justly. Many of Ares Targaryen's kinsmen have fled into exile. Shall I issue a, a, a decree declaring them enemies of the realm? This would maybe dissuade my bannermen from using them against me. Leave them in peace. I declare them enemies of the realm. All of Ares Targaryen's kinsmen in exile shall be declared enemies of the realm. Do it. All right. Lord Pimont Mace of the Reach has declared War of Reachmen Independence. All right. Ah, your grace. We will take up arms and defend you. Excellent. The dishonorable Lord Paramount Quellen Greyjoy has failed to answer my call to arms and has taken side with the rebels. Aegon of the defeated Royal Targaryen family has brought before you what is to be done with him. Throw him in the dungeons. I shall have his head. That would be tyrannical. Um, Take him as a hostage. Throw him in the dungeon. Yes, throw him in the dungeon. Some of your kin are unhappy with you. I don't care. Ares of the defeated Royal Targaryen family has been brought before you what is to be done with him. I shall have his head. Bring me in his head and all... Okay, no, we'll just take his head. We will take just Prince Ares and Rhaegar's heads. I shall have his head. Let's see. I have... Okay, well, I can only hang drawn and quartered. Ooh, Jesus. Have him hanged, have him beheaded. Well, Prince Ares did burn, you know, my best friend's family. Hmm... Have him hanged, have him drawn, and quartered. I think that'd be fitting. We will have him hung, drawn, and quartered. Yes. Ares Targaryen has been punished. I will crush him as well. I'll grant titles to whoever I like. I will grant titles to whoever I like. And then Rhaegar, you will be killed as well. Your father was hung, drawn, and quartered. I shall have his head. And I literally do mean I'm going to have his head. I'm going to cut his head off. Was beheaded on the order of King Robert. At the meeting of the small council, uh, Lord Commander Gerald Hightower has recommended that Sir Willem Derry be named a member of the King's God. Well, oh, you know what? I was supposed to give him land. Alright, Sir Willem Derry, we have an option here. You can either become a part of the King's God, or I can name you Lord of Dragonstone. Let's send him an invitation, and we'll, and, and we'll see if he accepts. Your grace, it would be the highest honor to serve in your king's god. Excellent. Good man. Uh, oh, then the north is with us. Excellent. What about the Riverlands? Lord Paramount Hosta Tully. Hosta. Lord Brendan the Blackfish. Lord Edmure. We can't give anybody the lordship of Dragonstone, can we? Doesn't seem that we can. Where the fuck is Lyanna Stark? I don't understand. Where is she? <laughs> At court in the Red Keep. Yeah, but it still sh says she's away. Do I have to, like, go down to the Tower of Joy or some shit? I might have to. Aren't we at war with Dorne? I thought we were. That's really silly. Anyways, let's rebuild the council real quick. All right, you'll do, you'll do. Lord Stefan, you stay at home. You collect the taxes here. Master Whispers, Lucifer. Kind of a scary name for the Master Whispers. And then perform charity. And then we have 15,000 men. Very nice. Let's get Jenna in here. She looks like she's a good commander. All right. We march on High Garden. And then maybe we can we can stop down here at the Tower of Joy. Let me guys know in the comment section if uh, if in order to get Lyanna Stark back, do I have to uh, do any kind of events down here in the Prince's Pass? If so, we've got a huge host that's going to be going south anyways, and we can uh, go check it out. Oh, but they also got enemies here. The King's Landing stands open to attack. Oh, that's not good. Pacify Province. Well, we'll have to wait before we change any of that shit. Ugh. 
Paramount Knight will be my brother Stannis. Commander of the Gold Cloaks. All that's good. All right, Your Grace the Conclave has, okay, Pycelle has been chosen, my lord, I see, wait, wait. Hort enjoys command. Richard Horp has got 21 Marshall. He's doing a fine job, okay? Arrange a marriage between Ganna Turnberry and Prince Oberyn. No! Your Grace, I will honor my allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm. Grave news. Ned and his companions have been defeated at the Tower of Joy by Sir Arthur Dane and his fellows in the King's Guard. My beloved, Lyanna, has been taken across the narrow sea. Arthur Dane, you damn traitor! The pain. Lyanna Stark divorces. Wow, that sucks for Robert. I wonder if this is a random event, if there's any way we could have actually stopped this from happening. That is quite unfortunate. But at least Lyanna Stark isn't dead, though. You know, she's not dead, so maybe we can get her back for poor Robert. Maybe Robert will follow her east, and he'll conquer the lands necessary to win back Lyanna Stark, but that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, Robert's Rebellion. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion, and until next time, I will see you all later.